Are you in to say hi, Ollie? Ollie boy. Oh, ugh, ugh. Nope, nope. You're done. You're done. You good? Can I, can I keep doing what I need to do over here? Please and thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year! It is finally 2019 and I am so pumped for this year. I have a feeling it's just gonna be an awesome year and so I'm so excited for it. I thought I would kick off the new year with something fun and colorful and winter inspired so I just sat down and played with makeup. We dove into the Morphe X James Charles palette and I created this look right here and I actually think it turned out super cool. I feel really pretty in it. So if you would like to see how I created this look then just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so we are gonna start with our eyes today I've gone ahead and primed my eyes and did my eyebrows and I just used the P Louise base it's my first time trying this as you know I don't normally use primers I normally just prime with concealer so we are going to try this today since we're gonna play around with some bold color um, I have a couple palettes laid out in front of me not really sure what I want to do yet I just know that I want it to be blues and purples and something like wintry um, so right here I have, what is this? This is the, the Morphe 35V palette and it looks like this. It's lots of beautiful colors. I think I'm going to dip into the shade Risqué first and we'll just kind of start there and see where we end up. I'm gonna take that on an M573 brush. I'm just taking this color in circular motions from the outer corner and then bringing it all the way in in the crease. All right, now from the same palette, I'm going to take the shade Hit It Off, which is like a bright blue, and I'm gonna take it on an M514 brush. And we're gonna do that a little bit lower than the first color. So I'm just going in with circular motions again. Just kind of slowly working it into the crease, making sure to go back and forth and blend out those edges as I go. All right, now to blend out those edges, I'm going to dip into my James Charles X Morphe palette. I'm going to dip into the shade Playground, and I'm taking that on a JH40 brush. And we're just going to diffuse those edges. Now with that same M514 brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Brother because it's a little bit brighter and it kind of has a little bit of a purpley hue to it, which is what I want. And I'm just going to kind of go in and merge those colors even more. All right, now taking a clean M433 brush, I'm going to dip into Escape, which is like a very dark purple. I'm gonna apply this to the outer corners. And I'm just patting this in for maximum color payoff, and then I'll go in and blend out the edges. I'm going back in with Playground, and we're just gonna blur out those edges. Back into Brother just a little bit. And just really merging those together. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with that P. Louise base and we're gonna cut the lip. Taking that on an M224 brush. And I'm going to quickly set that with a white eyeshadow. I'm going to be using Flashback from the James X Morphe palette. I'm going to cut the crease of the other eye off of camera really quick and I will be right back. Alrighty, so that is both eyes cut and I just set it with a white eyeshadow and I think I wanna go in with a glitter on top. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with this one. This is from NYX. This is the Face and Body Glitter Brilliance. And what shade is this in? This is in the shade 07. It's like an iridescent white and I'm gonna go in with their glitter glue just right on top. I'm gonna take a little Morphe E19 and just kind of press that over this area. And then going in with the same brush, I'm just gonna dip into the glitter. It looks like snow. Oh, that looks so pretty. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's so pretty. It literally looks like glistening snow. All right, now I'm gonna blend out this purple and blue so we don't have like a straight line going on our face. I'm gonna take a little, this is a 506 brush, and I think I'm going to dip into Cola from the palette and a little bit of Brother. I'm just gonna blend out those edges. Alrighty, so this is what you should have for the eyes so far. I think I wanna add maybe some graphic liner or some pop of lavender. I have this liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star. This is in the shade Virginity. It's a very pale, like, lavender, and I think it could look really pretty. I put a little bit of that color on this mixing dish and I'm going to take a liner brush. This is a MAC 210 and I think I'm going to carefully sketch out 
the cut of my cut crease. My hand is kind of shaky right now, so this might go really bad. I'm gonna use a different brush. This is a M217 brush, just something a little bit smaller and a little bit more precise. Alrighty, so that's what the graphic liner looks like. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I can't really tell on my monitor, but it's like a very soft, kind of like pink lavender. And I think what I wanna do before I move on to the face is do a wink with it. So I'm just taking that same little liner brush and dipping into that liquid lipstick and we're gonna sketch out a wing. Whew, okay, wings are on. I'm gonna clean up the edges a little bit. I'm just gonna go back in with that P. Louise base. And just kind of sharpen the edges a little bit. I'm gonna take an E43 brush and just go in and clean that up. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. I'm first gonna take a little makeup wipe and just kind of wipe away any fallout or excess glitter that we have. All right, I'm gonna prime my skin using my Dr. Brandt Luminizer Pores No More. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with an oldie buddy goodie. This is the Infallible Pro Glow. I'm gonna take that on a little beauty sponge and just work that into the skin. I picked up this sponge at Ulta the other day and I used to use it all the time and now I remember why I loved it so much. It's such a good sponge. It's so ridiculously soft. It's the closest like textured sponge to the Beauty Blender that I have personally found. Um, I have a bunch of other sponges that I use but none of them are that same texture as the Beauty Blender and I really like that texture. Now I'm going to conceal and highlight using my Tarte Shape Tape. Just going in and blending this out. Now I'm going to set my face using the Maybelline Loose Powder. All right, let's finish off the eyes. I'm gonna dip back into the James Charles palette and I'm going to take this icy blue shade called Hello. And I think I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with it. I'm going to take a little bit of setting spray. Just missed that. And pop it right on my brow bone. For our waterline, I'm gonna go with this shimmery blue. This is a NYX pencil. It's a slide on pencil. What shade is this? Um, hello, shade name. I don't know, I can't find a shade name on this, but it's blue and I think it'll look good with this look. So I'm gonna pop this right in. Come on, I'm gonna pop this right in my waterline. And I'm also going to set that with the shade Hello again. All right, so I'm going to take a little definer brush. This is a JH43. I'm going to dip back into Escape and I'm gonna run that along the waterline nice and tight. Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush and dip into the shade Cola and blend that out. Same brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Playground. Dipping back into the shade Hello, I'm going to highlight my inner corners. I'm going to take a little bit of my favorite Lancome Absolute Powder and I think I'm gonna pop that right on the very center of this inner corner right here. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and just apply some mascara. This is Benefit Roller Lash and we're gonna prep for false lashes. I'm going to go in with some Lily Lashes in the style Doha. Alrighty, lashes are on and we're gonna move on to the rest of the face now. For bronzer, I'm going to dip into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. All right, for contour, I'm going to dip into another oldie but a goodie. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here. And we're going to slightly contour. Also just going to bake under the contour just a little bit. And I'm using that Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. All right, for blush today, I'm going to dip into the Morphe 9B Palette. And I actually think I'm going to take this bright pink color right here. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of it. Actually, I'm gonna mix these two. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this one and a little bit of this one. Yeah. Make sure to tap off that excess. And we'll start small. All right, for glow, I'm first gonna dip into that long comb powder. 
telling you, you guys, this stuff is so good. If you don't have it, you need to go out and get it right now. All right, I think I'm going to dip into this palette for my highlight. This is the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. And it's got some pretty cool colors in it. There's one color in here that kind of shifts like a whitish blue. So I think I want to do that. All right, the color is Sapphire and it's got like a blue hue to it. And I'm taking that on a Morphe M521 brush. I'm going to spray that a little bit. There's also a purple violet one called Amethyst, and I think I'm gonna dip into that as well and kind of merge them together. Ooh, that looks so good. All right, I'm just gonna wipe away the bake. All right, for lips, I think I wanna keep it monochromatic and go in with this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. I think it'll look really cool, but we will see. All right, I think this lip color is really cool just for the whole monochromatic look, but it's a little too light for my taste, so I think I'm gonna go in and mix a little bit of mannequin with it, so I'm just gonna take this off real quick. All right, so I'm first gonna go back with mannequin. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with that virginity liquid lipstick, and we'll do a little bit in the center and kind of blend the two. Alrighty guys, and that concludes this makeup look, this winter inspired makeup look, I guess. I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I sat down and filmed, so I just sat and I played with color and this is what I came up with. I think it actually turned out super cool. I was a little frustrated at the beginning because I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. I thought I was gonna have to scrap the whole thing, but I really, really love how it turned out and I actually feel really beautiful in this. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. If you aren't already and you would like to follow me, all of my social media information will be down below, but my Instagram is Erica Medlin and my Snapchat is Erica underscore Medlin. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I had so much fun filming it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.